welcome back here watching the news tonight well even as we celebrate international women's day today delhi is outraged with an irony a young girl was shot dead in the capital 22 year old college student radhika thanwar was attacked by an unidentified man near a foot over bridge outside ramlal anand college the police suspect radhika was attacked by a stalker possibly a student in the same college he managed however to escape in the commotion that erupted after he fired one bullet at radhika Moving on, Telecom Minister Kapil Sipil met CEOs of telecom companies today to thrash out various issues of license, spectrum charges, allocation and license renewal. This is the government gears up for a new telecom policy. I have urged the stakeholders um, that the captains of the industry must get together uh, and iron out uh, the differences amongst themselves. because no industry can be robust if it is fractious um, the industry stakeholders must collaborate because uh, we have inherited uh, a legacy of an uneven playing field and to ensure that the playing field in the future is even uh, it is the leaders and the captains of the industry who must come uh, and sit around the table to iron out their differences otherwise we will continue to have a fractious industry which is not good and on to some news from the entertainment of now well actor charlie sheen has been sacked from the famous sitcom two and a half men the show was cancelled after sheen's very public spat about the creator sheen has now said he will take the producers to court American TV's highest paid actor Charlie Sheen was finally shown the door by the producers of Two and a Half Men. Following his bouts of wild partying, repeated hospitalizations and a bitter media campaign against his studio bosses, the action was taken after careful consideration and was effective immediately, the studio said in a statement. No decision has been made on the show's future without its stars. The 45-year-old actor who used TV, radio and social media to create a big mega phone for himself was not silent for long. They're going to have the show without you. That's 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 like having having the sunrise without the sun. Yeah, watch your ratings, dudes. Watch your stupid ratings. By the way, whatever. Who, 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 whatever. Do what you got to do, man. I'll go I'll go make movies with superstars and not work with idiots. The firing capped a rare raging public battle between a Hollywood star and those who employ him, with Sheen claiming the right to live as he pleased, including the acknowledged use of illegal drugs, although he said he's currently sober. The producers of the popular sitcom cancelled the remaining episodes of the Two and a Half Men series after Sheen's very public rants against the producers. Well, we'll have to see if there's an angel coming to guard Charlie there. Well, and finally, in the latest feud in Bollywood between the talented Kashya brothers and the powerful Khans, this is after it was announced that Arbaz and not Abhinav Kashya will be directing the Bang 2. Vikram Tapa has this report. They say that mother knows best, but clearly Anurag Kashyap believes that brother knows best, and it's this opinion which seems to have two sets of brothers, the Khans and the Kashyaps, up in arms. Yes, if you thought it was only Salman and Arbaz that could be the bang when it came to family ties, clearly Anurag Kashyap had a point to prove. After news that Arbaz Khan would be directing the bang two instead of Anurag's baby brother, Anurag was not in the mood to tweet talk. He tweeted, and I quote. Salman Khan thinks he made my brother's life. Hope he does the same for Arbaz when he does the bang two. All the best. And it didn't stop there. The Dev D director took it a step further, tweeting, "Abhinav Singh Kashyap, you rock! I love you. Show them what you're made of." Altogether, now we just love a little bromance. And while Anurag did try to make half-hearted amends before his comments were blown out of proportion, I have a lot of respect for Arbaz, Suhail, and his father. I will never abuse them. Clearly, Arbaz was not in the mood to let this one go. He said. Instead of gratitude some people show attitude. Wah, kya zamana aa gaya hai. Time will tell. Kabhi asliyat ko bahar aane mein bhi time lagta hai. Well, we have to wonder whether Anurag's emotional outburst did his brother more harm than good. In spite of his noble intentions, Abhinav has since tried to pour oil over troubled waters, claiming he was concerned if the bang 2 didn't succeed, he would be written off as a one film wonder. While we have a tough time believing that, all we can say to Anurag in the meantime is Maya ji, smile. Smile. <laughs> NDTV Bureau Report. <laughs> And with that, we wrap this bulletin. Thanks so much for watching the news.